Less than three hours ago, it was decided that certain bathrooms and locker rooms are now off limits to transgender students in the district. The school board voted tonight to approve that new policy. KSHB 41's Grant Stevens shows us how the move sparked numerous responses at their meeting tonight. The vote wraps up months of discussion and debate here at Gardner Edgerton's board. It's left some parents and students feeling elated, while others are heartbroken. All those in favor? Those opposed? They have finally listened to the majority of our community and done what is right for the majority of the students. Students like Elizabeth Fielder say this was and is a non-issue. We've never had an issue with a trans student in the bathroom that I am aware of, that any of the students that I've talked to are aware of. A sentiment echoed by former student Carter Robinson. Nationwide, um, parents have gotten a weird obsession, I feel like, with locker rooms, restrooms, um, anything really involving trans students. Robinson sees themselves in the Gardner Edgerton students who they feel will now be singled out. It's just a matter of what they decide is dangerous without actually having evidence on or deciding or like having factual based um, dangers behind and it ends up hurting other kids like me, you know. Parent Brenda Thompson disagrees. This is not, you know, direct measures at them. This is for our school district as a whole and for what the majority would like to see. Another item on the agenda tonight, a vote whether or not to remodel certain restrooms which would accommodate for this policy change did not pass tonight, but it will appear again in a future board meeting. In Gardner, Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.